Leasing is the most common way that businesses acquire equipment. So 24% of the acquisitions of equipment in 2018 by businesses was done through leasing. In the top 50 countries in terms of lease volume did $1.36 trillion in leasing volume in 2019. And this was almost all with three continents, North America, Europe, and Asia. They really dominate the market when it comes to leasing volume. So the market for leasing is huge. Now, what is a lease conceptually? So here's a definition from IFRS 16. So the International Financial Reporting Standards, they define a lease as being present in a contract if it conveys the right to control the use of an identified asset for a period of time in exchange for consideration. So let's break that down. You are not getting legal title to the asset. You're not just buying a car and getting title to the car where you are the owner, but you are getting the right to control the car. Let's say that's the item that's being leased for a period of time, let's say five years in exchange for consideration. Let's say you're paying $6,000 a month or something like that. Okay. So you're getting the right to control an asset in exchange for consideration and it's a certain period of time. There's a lot more to this and we're gonna talk about it in the videos to come, but that's the basic idea of a lease. You are renting property, okay? You're renting the right to use equipment. It could be real estate, could be the third floor of an office building. So leasing is ultimately a form of financing, okay? You could, if you were trying to buy a piece of equipment, you could just say, okay, I'm just gonna pay $200,000 right? $200,000 or 200,000 euros or whatever happens to be your currency. I'm going to pay that up front. I'm just going to buy the asset right now and own it. Or another way, so you just buy it outright. Or you could say, well, I don't have $200,000. I'm going to go and I'm going to borrow it. I'm going to borrow 200,000 and then I'll buy the asset and just own the asset. Leasing is saying, look, we're not going to pay 200000 up front. We're not going to borrow 200000 We're not going to buy the asset outright for 200000 We're just going to make a series of payments over time. Okay, So that's how we are going to use this asset and acquire the right to use the asset. Now, sometimes at the end of the lease, there's an option for you to acquire title to the asset. And we will talk about that. We'll get into bargain purchase, bargain purchase options, a lot of different things in the videos to come. But bear in mind, there are a lot of different assets that companies could end up leasing. So in terms of transportation, a company could lease trucks, uh, airplanes, uh, real estate, I already mentioned. You, you could take, well, like the fifth floor of an office building, maybe it's leased by a CPA firm. Okay, They are renting out the fifth floor of an office building. They don't own that right? They don't own it. They're just, they have a, maybe a year to year lease. It could be a 10 year lease, whatever. And then equipment. Now in terms of equipment, the most common type of, of equipment that is leased by, by businesses is IT equipment. Okay. So for example, you might work at a place where your desktop computer is actually being leased, right? So your company does not own that computer. They are basically renting it out right over a period of time and we'll talk about the reasons why a company would choose to, to lease uh, or, or rent out IT equipment instead of just buying it uh, there's protection against the risk of obsolescence and so forth and we'll, we'll get into that in the videos to come by the way wouldn't it be nice if your company uh, was leasing a nice uh, Mac uh, desktop for you um, probably not right probably more like a Dell or a Lenovo or something is is what you're going to be using at work but hey you know every company's different so maybe they'll lease a Mac for you now, in terms of some basic terminology, and we're going to come back to this again and again, the lessor is the entity granting the right to use the property. Okay, so let me give you an example. Let's say that you are renting an apartment, okay, just for your personal residence, right? You're just renting an apartment. Your landlord would be the lessor, okay, your landlord, because your landlord, right, you sign a lease agreement with your landlord, and they give you the right to use that apartment unit. Okay, and then you would be the lessee. Okay, you are receiving the right to use the property, and it's the same with a business. Okay, so if your company, if your company is leasing or they're renting out uh, some Macs or they're renting out, let's say, some Dell desktop computers, right? Dell would be the lessor. Okay, and then the lessee would be your company. They are making periodic payments to Dell in exchange for the right to use those Dell desktop computers. We'll talk about all this and a lot more in the videos to come.